Zulu Aerial Bridge, Clyde Espinacamore. Hello, this is Aerial. Let's go to I couldn't hear you, but could you give me another call at a mile and a half, please? Uh, yep, copy that. Ah, oh, thank you, bridge clear. Yeah, door the burial bridge, Clyde S. I can work. I'm starting up for you, Cap. Thank you for the call. You're welcome. Thank you. Right now coming through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the Clyde S. Vanenkevort tug and the self-unloading barge Erie Trader. The barge Erie Trader was built as the Lakes Contender in 2012 by Don John Shipbuilding and Repair in Erie, Pennsylvania. She measures 740 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. Although powered by the tug at the back, she is equipped with a 1,000 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. She has 26 hatches on her deck, which and a maximum carrying capacity of 37,600 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo without the aid of shoreside equipment. The tug. Clyde S. Venegavort was built as the Ken Booth Sr. in 2012 by Don John Shipbuilding and Repair in Erie, Pennsylvania. She measures 135 feet in length, 100, 135 feet in length, 50 feet in width, and 26 feet in depth. She is powered by two 5,400 5, horsepower max diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 16 knots or about 18 miles per hour. The Erie Trader and Clyde together have a combined length of 875 feet. Both are owned and operated by Benekevort Tug and Barge of Escanaba, Michigan. Today, the Clyde S. Benekevort and the Erie Trader are on their way to Sea Rice. They are currently loaded up with limestone and they are going to be discharging it once they get to their dock. The Clyde and Erie Trader were designated to work together during their entire careers. The Clyde was named in honor of a specialist in integrated tug barge design. He entered the marine industry in the 1960s and designed the tug, Joyce Elvin and Cavort, which, which pushes the barge Great Lakes Trader. A tug and barge system like this requires approximately 14 crew members to operate. If you see any crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave and welcome them back to Duluth. They haven't given a salute yet, but they usually do. Maybe if you guys outside cheer loud enough, they'll consider it. Whoever screamed, good job. I can hear you from inside with the doors closed. I don't know, maybe the horn's broken. Again, coming through, we have the Clyde S. Venenkevort and Erie Trader with a combined length of 875 feet, built in 2012, and has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,600 tons. No salute for you guys today. Sad day.